Hello, and thanks for joining another Shaw Consulting How We Work podcast. In these podcasts, we're talking to Shaw Consulting's Managing Director, Chris Shaw, about projects the team have been working on. Today, we're going to discuss the range of work that Chris and the team have been doing with Leeds and Yorkshire Housing Association. Joining us today, along with Chris, is Adam Hutchinson, Director of Resources at Leeds and Yorkshire. Hi, Chris and Adam. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. So first, Adam, perhaps you could kick us off by just explaining a little bit about Leeds and Yorkshire Housing Association and the nature of the work that Shaw were appointed to deliver for you. Sure. So Leeds and Yorkshire Housing Association, we're a smaller housing association, owner manager around 1,700 units based in Headingley in North Leeds, although we operate across the Yorkshire region. At Leeds and Yorkshire, we developed a new corporate strategy in 2020. And then we were looking to implement an IT and digital strategy to support the delivery of our corporate strategy. And Shaw Consulting have helped us with that in a couple of different ways. So initially, they supported the development of that strategy. So we collaborated and consulted with our colleagues and customers on the content and nature of our IT and digital ambitions. And then secondly... They've supported us with program and project management to deliver the various strategic work streams that are entailed in delivering that IT and digital strategy. Hey, thanks, Adam. So, Chris, that was the kind of broad brief. What did it involve from your side? Like Adam says, our first engagement with them was to develop this IT and digital strategy. And we did a number of workshops with the business to understand where they were in the use of technology. The strategy that we developed in partnership with Leeds and Yorkshire, it detailed what those projects were, how much resources were estimated that needed to be assigned to deliver those projects, and also you know, the estimated costs of delivering those projects. Once we'd pulled together the draft, we discussed it with the team, and we went through a couple of versions to finalise it, and then we presented that strategy at a board away day where we took the board through. And they then you know, approved that strategy. And, and that's when we were asked then to provide some further you know, support in delivering the strategy in the range of projects. OK, so what I'd like to kind of understand a little bit more is how both organisations work together in order to kind of deliver the outcomes that were needed. Chris, could you talk me through the actions that you took and how you were able to achieve those by working in partnership with your client? Yes, certainly. So once we'd agreed the list of projects that needed to be delivered, we established a governance structure for those projects. So, you know, who was going to be a, the project sponsor or the project lead from Leeds and Yorkshire Housing? Who was the people that were involved from the end user point of view, providing the content and saying, this is what we need the system or the improvements to do for us. We established um, regular meetings to check on progress because the actual delivery of the strategy involved many different projects. Some were running in parallel, some were running after one project had been completed. So we set up this project framework. We made sure that there were updates that were happening on a weekly basis on what had occurred what was being delivered. We had plans in place which were followed. Um, sometimes they were delayed because some things didn't get done in the time. That, either that was down to the suppliers that we were working with or it was down to um, you know, delays because of competing projects. But this is how we set up the delivery of the projects to achieve the, the best outcomes and how we've been working in partnership with Leeds and Yorkshire over you know, the last few years now. And Adam, what would you say were the challenges on the projects that you've been delivering? Well, so we kicked off in 2020. So obviously the global pandemic caused a bit of a hiccup for us, or at least forced us very early on to reprioritize some of the projects that we had in there. So at least we were already planning to move to a more agile way of working. I think the biggest issue really was our limited capacity. We're not a large organization. We've got about 40 odd members of staff and were a really significant input to these projects required from our operational colleagues in particular, and obviously the IT department as well. And I think we did get to a point where we were trying to do a number of projects in parallel that all drew from 
the same small pool of resource within the business and that come to a point where there was a bit of a log jam really of we we're trying to do too much and as a result not getting a lot of traction on any one particular project. So Chris Adams clearly outlined some of the challenges. I guess you couldn't really do a lot about the pandemic, but briefly sort of talk us through how you worked through some of those challenges and you went about addressing them. We had to think creatively about, well, how can we resolve these issues? And we looked at the contract market to find specialist individuals who had worked for these suppliers who had the skills who could come in and do the changes for us without having to you know, suffer the delays that their suppliers were telling us that their resources were going to be available within, which just didn't line up to when we needed to get things done. So finally then to you both, where are you now? What's the kind of project's final outcome? Why has it been a successful partnership? Adam, perhaps you could go first. We've seen some real improvements in the customer experience that we're able to provide. We've seen a real boost to some of our customer survey responses, particularly about being easy to deal with and our repair satisfaction. And there are areas that we really focused on in implementing new telephony system and enhancing our customer portal. And then doing a lot of work on how our systems support our day-to-day and responsive repairs service. So we are now at a point where we're seeing kind of tangible benefits all of our customers are seeing tangible benefits from the work that we've all put in onto this. Yeah, that sounds really successful. Anything to add from your point of view, Chris? No, not really. I think Adam's doing really well from his side. We've really enjoyed working with Legion Yorkshire and continue to work with Legion Yorkshire as an association on the delivery of the strategy and these projects. It's not been without its challenges, but we've worked together as a team. And like Adam said, we've affected some good changes, which have really benefited the customers and the staff in, in general. So now I think it's, it's worked really well from our side as well. That's great. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Chris. Great insight from both parties. We'll be back again soon to take a look at more Shaw projects. All podcasts are available on Shaw social media channels. Thanks for listening.